everybody welcome back to another video it is vlogmas day one and today we are bringing you guys a huge in my opinion huge uh holiday decor haul if you've been following us on social media and if you watch our video where we went to home depot and did some home decor shopping then you know that we've been out here in the trenches and we've just been getting a lot of stuff for this upcoming holiday season and i'm excited to bring you guys what we picked up from the store yeah it started off as just hey let's make a quick trip uh missy woke me up to go look at something at walmart i think it was yeah. And next thing I know, we hit five, six stores, three, four different locations, multiple <laughs> locations, bought stuff, went back home, dropped it off, went back out, came back, picked up the kids, went back out. So it it's was just, mission. it's been a mission, but it's been fun. Like I said, it's my favorite holiday by far. Um, I think it's Missy's holiday, uh, favorite holiday also. Um, so yeah, we just really love this season. We're excited to bring you guys a lot of content, a lot of videos for this Vlogmas. And Let's get into this haul and hope you guys enjoyed. Like and comment below on some of the things that we bought that you think are uh, some of your favorites and let us know where you guys have been doing your shopping at. So without further ado. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I also want to put in there that we will make sure we will link as much as possible in the description. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so I think this year's theme for our main tree is definitely going to be red and white. Um, I'm still going to do the ski lodge or Casey ski lodge theme um, in the dining room, but for the main tree, we're definitely going to do red and white. So some things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, they did have a 60% off sale this past weekend, so I did want to go in there and grab a few things. I will say, we had previously went to at home, and I'll show you some of the stuff from there, and we were told like, oh, go to Hobby Lobby, they have this amazing sale, and then we went and i mean yeah. there was the stuff was like a couple dollars cheaper at, at, at home so if that we, yeah so we just we didn't even get like bulbs or anything like that we just got a, a few things it was like smoke and mirrors it was like we raised the prices or we said the the advertised price was like i think one of the things we got was bulbs and it was like 16.99 but with 60 percent off it came to like i don't think like 7.99 or 6.99 when that same pack of bulbs was already 7.99 at home uh at, at home so yeah it makes it seem like you're getting a deal when in actuality you're really not because you can get that same thing for the 60% off price almost everywhere with no deal. So, yeah. But we got a couple things anyway. So, we get yeah. So, I got these little glitter um, balls, sticks. I don't know what to call them, but they were originally $5. They were 60% off. I wouldn't have, the reason why I said the price is I wouldn't have bought these full price. Um, but because they were 60% off, I did grab a few of these. So I thought these were really cute. So I grabbed, uh, I think six of these also. I don't know if you guys can see them good enough. So they're just like these little stick in swirly things. And I got like just things to stick into the tree because I feel like this year we're gonna do mostly bulbs and just different size bulbs. We're not gonna do um, like the figurine, artic uh, not articles. We're not gonna do the figurine ornaments. So we're not gonna do like skis, um, uh, shoot, a cupcakes. Like, we're just not gonna do like those little peppermint candy canes or anything like that. Uh, ornaments. Yeah, the ones for ornaments. Yeah, we're just going to do bulbs and then I have some things to stick into the tree and probably a few like beaded garlands or something like that. I also got three of these, again, just to kind of stick in the tree. I got these just because of the price. And then lastly, I got six of these. Again, these are just gonna go like assortedly around the tree um, in between the bulbs and the garland. All right, so then we went to, one of the times we were out, we went to World Market, and we've had these previously, these popcorn bowls, they're metal. We had the small ones. We never had the big ones? No, I never had the big ones. Oh. So we had these smaller ones, and some of them got ruined because of- uh, I threw them in a dishwasher. And they're not dishwasher safe. <laughs> um, so the enamel on the inside started to come out, but these say, uh, more popcorn please on the bottom. Yeah, and if you saw one of our movie night videos, then you saw those in there as well as on our Instagram pages. But like he said, we got four. Um, we five. we normally have four, but I got five this time. And then I just got a big one for me and the kids to share. So we got five for each of the kids, and then we have one for us to share. We about to fire these kids. I said we hired them, they about to get fired already. Everybody, <laughs> all three of them. No service pay, <laughs> Cobra benefits kicked in. My goodness. But anyway, so next up, uh, I'll let you go ahead and go, and then I'll go next. So, uh, again, another wall market find was this uh, hot drink or hot cocoa. This, uh, which way? There we go. Hot cocoa dispenser. 
it's it's cool it's, it's plastic but it has a, a metal insert um, to keep everything warm it's a pump actuated to uh, you know dispenser hot chocolate yeah. yes yeah, a hot beverage dispenser and we, we have one already but it's just a regular um, stainless steel one yeah like but a coffee one this is a little bit more festive uh, wifey picked this up at she spotted it at um, World Market. You spot this, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I thought so. And this is uh, 60 fluid ounces. And um, yeah, I feel like we could also actually use this when we are doing the hayride trip that I want to go on. Yeah. I, 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 if y'all been with us for a minute, or y'all were around last holiday season, y'all know Missy, she's big on having a, a tea bar, coffee bar, hot cocoa bar. Doesn't really drink any of those things, but she she wants to decorate it, which you know, so get these little knickknacks and accessories, which I just picked up here, which was these uh, paper. Yeah. Paper kept uh, I'm about to say paper cane. <laughs> paper peppermint. Lord. Y'all see what it is. I can't even <laughs> It's a striped <laughs> yeah, there uh, we go. travel cup for the hot cocoa bar. Um, so I wanted to do like a whole setup. I think, did I do a setup? I did a setup last year. I don't know if we got much of it on camera because I know I filmed it. I'm trying to put this top back on. Uh -oh. But I do know I filmed it. But yeah, so I just got two sets of those and I think it's what, 12 in there or six? Mm, it's six in there, so yeah. it's 12 total. Yeah, we got, we got two of them. Uh, in addition to go along with that, this is, what did you find this at? I, so I originally found that at um, World Market. And I wanted to get one. My intention was to go back and get one. But I happened to come across Walmart and it had it for a little less than what um, World Market had it for. But then we also went to... Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh my God, where did we go? You and they had it for even cheaper. I think you just showed it to me. No, we went somewhere just recently. Oh, they were at Hobby Lobby. For even less than what I got it for. No, less than what I got it for at World Market. But I got it the cheapest at Walmart. What? Anyway, so <laughs> it's late, y'all. So we have the marshmallows, it's the uh, high cocoa mix, and the peppermint. Peppermints. So, so yeah, you can find it at World Market, Hobby Lobby, or at home. I'm sure there will be a. I keep looking down here. I need to be looking up here. I'm sure there will be a fall or Christmas bar decorating video coming soon. Absolutely. All right, so I don't know if y'all saw my reels uh, or my TikToks, but I posted about these already. These are holiday tumblers that I got from Walmart and they light up. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera, but I got two of each, two red, two green, and I got these for the kids. Um, holiday table or Christmas table. So these are super cute. Also at Walmart, I found these ornament shot glasses. Uh, and to pick it up for you. Okay. So I got red and green and I got 12 of these. Um, and so then I also got this tree from Hobby Lobby, Astro. And they're glass. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, and so I also got this tree from Hobby Lobby. This is a 24 inch tree. And so I'm going to put the shot glasses. I don't know if I said that already, but these are shot glass ornaments. And like Akeem said, they are glass. So my intentions are to make a shot glass ornament tree. All right, so what do we just get these from, babe? I got those from Walmart. So again, now we have disposable popcorn bins for obvious reasons. So we got a couple of these. Uh -huh. Ho, ho, ho. Buckets. I actually picked these up because I want to make treats. So I want to make popcorn this year. That's why I got these. Oh, okay, fine. Didn't know that. Well, I told you that. So, um, next up is these gingerbread coasters that I found. Uh, there we go. I found at a uh, Walt Market. Um, we had this gift card, a gift certificate that we had one in the store, so we was trying to figure out what else to spend the money on so I can redeem the full thing. And these are about eight bucks. We'll see if you can find a link below. Um, they're pretty cool. It's something I knew my wife who likes multiple things like this. I knew she would appreciate this. 
Did you appreciate it? Yeah, I said thank you. Yeah, so she appreciated. Actually, it. I said, why wouldn't you pour it? It's gonna be dope in your TikToks and your reels. Cause oh, they, it's definitely cute. And then we had a couple, um, I guess, drink enhancers. So this is a tonic syrup with gold leaf flakes in it. Uh, yeah, that's showing up on camera. So it's for making gin and tonics. Yes. And as a sweetener, I'm assuming, with the gold leaf into it, kind of like gold slogger. If you know what gold slogger is, you drank it back in the day, you you definitely an old head like me, so. But I picked that up from Walmart. How much was it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. A couple of dollars. I forget. Maybe two. Then this is, so recently, uh, on a couple networking events and things uh, that I've been to, I've just picked up um, drinking these espresso martinis. Um, they're actually really good and they're starting to become like a little thing for me. So we saw this at Walmart, 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 right? Yeah, we saw this at Walmart too. So it's just add vodka and you stir three cups of alcohol with this and let it sit for 48 hours. And then you strain it off and there you go. You have your vodka espresso martini. So I haven't tried these yet, but once I do, I'll report back to you. I'll let you know, but I'm excited to try it. You ever had espresso martini? No, but we gonna use that? I thought it was just gonna sit at the... Oh no, this is getting used. Well, you should have bought two so one can sit at the coffee see bar. See what I mean? Yeah, like, see, <laughs> at the festival bar. See, see what I mean? See one. So, our our stage handler is trying to signal us on spit. <laughs> so, yes, what? Ashton. What? Okay, so um, I uh, yeah. kind of put my uh, head in the camera a little bit while trying to. Stop trying to. Here. <laughs> Matter of fact, sit behind the camera. That way you ain't got to work. <laughs> so. I'm just trying to move away from the sun. But even if you're moving away from the sun, doesn't mean you gotta turn, turn your head on. Turn your face that way then. Turn the chair this way and scoot next to it so you don't have to worry about it. All right, and then lastly, in addition to doing some of the baking, Akeem had found these measuring cups with these brown elves. Uh, and then we also got the teaspoons. So again, we show us like shopping for these in the vlog, but these are them up close. So, yeah. excited to just, I don't know if I'm gonna use these, but I do know I'm gonna sit them out for. <laughs> Why would you use them? That's what they're there for. Because they're too cute. No, they're getting used. I guess we're gonna When use you them. make your treats that you keep saying they you wanna make. To. Thank you, son. I, I guess we're gonna use them. Yeah, we're gonna use them. No. So yeah, these I got these from Walmart also. So we got one, she tapped out, shaking her little ponytail. <laughs> that's your that's your good order. That's your daughter. All right, so um, I picked up this blanket. It is a Rachel Zoe or Zoe blanket um, with the cutest snowflakes on it. I did pick up a throw blanket last year that was red, but I wanted when I saw this one, it was like neutral and white. I knew I wanted it even for the winter months, so I can keep this out um, probably starting in November until January or through January. But after I picked it up from Home Goods last month, I found out that it was a viral blanket. I didn't know it at the time. I just thought it was cute. But I did get this. I think it was about $25. And they had different ones. Like they had um, a white Christmas tree. They had a green Christmas tree. And I think a red one. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, so I got this one. Feels, and it's long. It feels pretty good too. Yeah, it's cute. But I don't want nobody to touch it. So it's not gonna get used or it's gonna get, it's gonna get used? It'll get used, it just can't go outside. Well, you gotta talk to him about that. that. I was talking directly to him. Wow. Here you go, babe. Thank you. All right, so to get into some of the bigger items that we got. Um, so if you watched the last vlog, then you know about the arch that we were on the hunt for. And Missy had this idea to get these, um, colorful gift boxes to put on each side of the arch. Um, another one of these things that she woke me up early in the morning to go get. And I needed her to do me a favor, so she did that favor for me. So in return, I went and picked these up for her so we scratch each other's backs, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, back scratcher. Back scratcher. So we have two of these. Um, only to, okay. That's just <laughs> breaking me the second one. <laughs> So we have two, we're gonna put on each side of it. If you have a picture of an example, we'll pop it up. If not, then you'll see it when we reveal our, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna do a whole tour. 
if we have enough, we'll yeah, do we'll a whole Christmas tour at the end. inside and outside of all the decorations. If you saw anything from last year, it's more this year. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, these are pretty cool. They were 60 bucks each at a Home Depot. So at home, I'm just, I'm not gonna show everything we got, but we got uh, a ton of bulbs. So we got two sets of white ones like this. And then we got three sets of red ones this big. And then we just got red and white bulbs in different sizes. Here, show, pass me the bulbs, Austin. And you can set this on the table there. Here, just get those. Get those, get those to that. So just to show y'all the different sizes, we got the large ones, the medium ones, and then hand me the very small ones right here. Yep. And then the small ones, so. Oh, oh, the gang of these, a bunch of them. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I really want to start on the tree earlier this year. I do have a ton in the garage already, but I do want to start on the tree a little bit early this year because if we need more stuff, I want to get it before it sells out because the shelves are clearing out and we aren't even halfway through November yet. So I also got two sets of like these. Um, they kind of look like glitter snowflakes, or snowflakes. They kind of look like glitter snowballs. So I got two sets of these also from at home. And so I also picked up these uh, ribbons from at home and I got two sets of these. I'm gonna pop these on the tree. And then lastly, what I have on my side is I also picked up these white glass ornaments from Hobby Lobby. And this year I am going to take my Cricut and I'm just gonna put all of our names on them. So I did get two boxes of uh, four. So I have eight and the seven of us, I'll say the seven of us plus Uno. I'll do the seven of us and then maybe I'll, I'll make one with Uno for Uno with the paw print. That way I'm using all eight of these. But that's one of my Cricut projects this year for Christmas is to make customized um, or personalized ornaments for our tree. Comment below if you think all eight glass bulbs are going to make it to the end of the season without breaking. They better. There's a whole bunch of things we say they better, but let's see if they actually make it from, and it doesn't have to mean that the kids are just hanging it and falling you, working on it with your cricket, all of that stuff, and it falling and breaking. So if you think they're going to last, or if you think they're not going to last, let us know in the comments. Personally, that's nice. So we had, we used to, we had a tradition where we went and we would get like a Casey family bulb in the year on it. We were in Michigan from Frank and Move and uh, it broke what, two years ago? I can't remember. I want to say it broke 2000, 2020 um, and I think it was from 2014. The oldest one was 2014. So hopefully we can start a new tradition and we don't have to worry about these breaking. But I mean, I can always remake them. It's not that big of a deal. The other one we bought, but now that we have a cricket, we can make these. We bought a bunch of these. I'm not going to pull them all out, but um, these red. Like berry balls. Yeah, and then she has. So I got a bunch of these from at home. And then this is the next size. So you got like the large, I believe the medium, and then you should have one more small one in there. So I yeah, I wasn't going to pull them all out. I just want to show the different sizes that I got. They're all the same size. Nope, that one right. Yeah. So the three different sizes that I got, again, I wanted to have dimension. So in the past, I've decorated my tree with three sets of, uh, three to four sets of uh, size sizes for the ball. So to try to get a tree like dimension and like 3D-ish. And this is more of um, Halloween branches that were painted red and resold for Christmas. What? You get on my nerves. Tell me these aren't the same branches that were they're black. Not, they're not. Yeah. These are the exact same. Anyway, so we got more I ain't things that. to stick to the tree. Work, but it is what it is. But this is, you know, whatever. More stuff that she got. So. And I think there's just one more thing in there, and that's it for that. What this? Yeah. And so all of these came from at home also. So these are just more things I'm gonna stick in the tree, see what works, see what doesn't. But I wanted to go ahead and grab a ton of stuff because y'all buying up everything. And then lastly, the jingle my bells. What? Nothing. Okay. For the tree. Oh, these are pretty like this. I don't know if candy you put them to the world. But yeah, so some bills. Six bucks from at home. So right. I believe that is everything as far as like the decorating pieces for the hall. Um like, now we just have two more major big things, yeah. right? So let me grab those really quick. You gonna grab? Them? Yeah, I grab them. Right. 
So, if y'all watched the video from the late home. late October, early November, but you know we went to Home Depot, three Home Depots, yes. uh, thirty miles of travel, <laughs> about ten dollar in toll fees, just, just to find so this ornament. This. And this this thing is huge. Like it doesn't look like it in the box. But this thing is nine feet wide and eight and a half, almost nine feet tall as well. So, um, I personally, I've been seeing a lot of people, uh, especially photographers, fellow photographers, using this as a tool to um, do backdrops. But this is going to look crazy in front of the house once okay, you start. Let me see. I showed him first before he saw all of that light. Anywho. <laughs> But no, so yeah, we one thing we definitely want to put it in the front yard for yard decor. But um, I also think it would be a great backdrop for like our holiday photos and our pajamas and little things like that. So again, stay tuned for the full holiday decor tour because that's going to be crazy. So if you haven't subscribed, do it now so you don't miss that video. Okay, so the last thing that we have next to us is going to be our new Christmas tree. Um, we talked to you guys back and forth about, you know, going between the nine and a half foot, uh, it's not nine and a half feet. Nine foot. Okay, between a nine foot tree and a 12 foot tree. So we originally picked this up when we picked up the ornament display, but then we got home and this guy started getting on YouTube and he was looking at all these 12 foot trees and then y'all was in our uh, DMs and Facebook posts telling us that we should go for a 12 foot tree, which then had us all back at the store inside Home Depot looking at 12 foot trees. No, so it wasn't even so much as the YouTube, it was more so like, all right, so our current tree is little. It's a- um, Seven? I wouldn't even give it a seven, maybe. It's like six, six and a half. No, it's a seven foot tree. Seven foot tree. So seven foot tree, and just in our home, it looked miniature. Um, a lot of people talked about it last year, but it's fine coming from the house that we used to have with nine foot ceilings. Maybe I think it may have been ten foot ceilings to twenty foot ceilings. So obviously we have the height and the space for it, but it's just trying to figure out exactly where we wanted to put it. And we can also go. We can go for the corner that's on the other side of the fireplace. Um, but then depending on the, the width of the tree, you may run into some challenges. We talked about putting it directly dead center, um, in the living space, like across from where city house, so like right here. And then alternatively, um, you guys are familiar with the house by this point on this wall, um, that the big, where, where the big wall. banister is, um, putting it up there. So we're just trying to figure out where to put it. And I was okay with the nine foot because you go into the store. I'm, pretty tall guy but you know I'm still looking up at the tree it looks like it's gonna you know be a good size but again I'm seeing more and more people with the 12 foot tree and I just like the opulence of it so uh, yeah I like how grand it is and I told y'all I said we we definitely have I didn't cut you off though I just I chimed in there's it's complete y'all better be in the comments the same way defending but everybody me knows it's not the same thing I chimed in you nah, literally y'all better be in the comments defending me but anyway, so I like the fact that the 12 foot trees are, they're just grand. And um, that was something that I wanted. But I mean, I had mentioned before, I'm just, I don't know how I feel about having to pull out a big old ladder every year and, you know, start, you know, day one, two, three of decorating the tree. And I was like, what happens when we get old? Like, and we don't, and I love decorating the tree, but I, I don't want to be 10 years from now and we're tired of getting up on this ladder either. So. But we did go look at 12 foot trees and we both mm -hmm. decided that we're going to get a 12 foot tree. Next year, for sure. Exactly. So part of that was because we both really, really liked the tree that we got. Um, mostly because of how realistic it looks and the flocking that's on there. We looked for similar trees um, with or without flocking, but we really liked the, uh, the way it was flocked. Yeah. And um, we just could not find a 12 foot tree that just really, really jumped out at us. And I mean, this tree is like gorgeous. Uh, we kind of got some footage in the store that we'll show y'all, but it has like the twinkle lights. So the micro twinkle lights, um, it's just the flocking, the covering is beautiful. The, the uh, what is it? That's the bristles. Um, the, what's the word of it? What's the word I'm looking for? The the tree points the, the branch the, branch. the branches are like they just they I don't know we we both agree that they just give very the tree looks very luxe yes it looks very luxe um and I love that aspect of it because other pre lit trees that we saw 
they there's nothing wrong with them but like i like my biggest thing in the store if you watch if you follow me on instagram you saw me go live the video's still up but this tree by itself is decorated like you could put this up put it in the house and you really wouldn't have to do anything to it um and it just works it's, it's, it, they put that much attention to detail into it versus like the tree we currently have and a lot of other trees even if they're pre-lit it still leaves much to be desired so you have to put a lot into it from the bulbs and ornaments and bowls and all kind of things to really give the tree life but this tree is just beautiful as is so i know once missy puts her other you know her little sprinkle and touches on it, it's gonna be even better so i really like it but we gotta get a 12 foot tree now they do have this one she showed me in a 12 foot variety variety but it's a mortgage payment so <laughs> <laughs> you know mm, yeah I can't, I just wasn't about to drop that much money on the, on two trees this year, but next year, because it's gonna look good in here. We have the space for it, we gotta do it. Yeah, I agree. And then we also talked about the, so we, this year we'll have the nine foot and the seven foot, and then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the seven foot, see if anybody needs it, and then we'll have the nine foot and the 12 foot, or we may keep it. I don't know, we'll I see. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see by the end Cause of we'll need a tree season. up there. We think we might put a tree in our room. And then we also have like two four foot trees. I think they're four foot, four or four and a half foot trees that we had a couple years ago that I didn't bring out. So we have options, but at the end of the day, we're just gonna stick with the nine foot tree. Mm -hmm. um, we absolutely love this tree. And I think you guys are gonna love it too. But we absolutely love this tree. And I think once you guys see it up, you're gonna love it too. And it was, just, it was hard to Move. part with this tree this year, for sure. Move. Damn. But it was really hard to part with this tree for sure. So um, I'm glad we kept it. Uh, when we both had to come down with the decision of getting rid of it and upgrading, we both were like, no, nah, we, we want to keep this one. All right, so this is part one of a Christmas haul. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. I can almost guarantee you it's definitely going to be more. Um, but this is a good start. So we're actually going to probably take the tree out now. Not on camera. But we're probably gonna take the tree out now. So stay tuned so Check you guys out. can see um, the tree. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as Missy enjoys spending the money. Uh oh. What? What you said? <laughs> he said, uh oh. But, I don't think about fashion. He don't have no pocketbook. No, nah, but for real, guys, we, we appreciate y'all watching. We appreciate y'all tagging along. If this is your first video, definitely consider subscribing. Um, if you have seen us before you are subscribed, we appreciate y'all as well. So, Vlogmas is here. We'll see y'all in the next video.